and welcome back to this week's tutorial. This week's tutorial is so quick and easy that you'll be able to finish this in well under an hour. So let's get started. To make this crochet beanie, I'll be using a worsted weight yarn, a five millimeter crochet hook, and to finish up the beanie, I'll be using a darning needle. To start off, I'll be creating a slip knot, insert my five millimeter crochet hook, and now I'm gonna chain 44 plus one for turning. For the entire beanie, I'll be using half double crochets. So to start my first row, I'm gonna skip the very first chain from the hook, yarn over and insert my hook into the second loop. Pull up a loop, and with three on my hook, I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all three. And there's my very first half double crochet. To show you again, I'm gonna yarn over and insert my hook into the next stitch from the hook. Pull up a loop with three on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So there's my second. And now we'll just continue to add half double crochets for the entire chain. And coming up here on my very last stitch, I'm gonna finish my half double crochet and chain one. Now I can turn my work and begin my second row. For the rest of this DIY, I'll be inserting my hook into the back loops only. To start my second row, I'll continue with the half double crochets, but I'll be inserting my hook into this back loop here and working only through that stitch. So I'll pull up that loop and finish a half double crochet. For the second stitch, I'll continue the same thing. So looking at the top of my work, I'm gonna insert my hook only through that back loop, yarn over, pull up, yarn over and pull through all three. And working only in the back loop will create a ribbed pattern for our beanie. Finishing up here in my second row, I wanna make sure that I grab that very last stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over and turn my work and there's my back loop. I'm gonna insert, pull up. And now I have my entire second row all completed. I'm gonna chain one and turn my work. To start my third row, I'm gonna repeat the exact same steps that I used in the previous row. So I'm gonna yarn over, turn my work, and find that very back loop, insert and pull up, and finish my half double crochet. Yarn over, turn my work a little bit, and find that back loop, insert, and make a half double crochet. And that's pretty much the entire pattern for the beanie. You'll wanna crochet your piece just long enough that the rectangle can wrap around your head snugly. And I'll meet you back here when the length is to my liking. Okay, so now I'm back, and as you can see, I've crocheted my piece to my preferred length. So right here, I'm just gonna quickly drop in some measurements, that way you guys can see the size that I'm working with. And from here, I'm gonna show you guys how I finish up my beanie. So what I'm gonna do is fold my long rectangle in half and have my short ends meet. And now I'm just gonna slip stitch the two edges together. And once I finished slip stitching up that entire side, I'm gonna cut my yarn, leaving a pretty long tail to work with and tie off a knot. And to close off the top of our beanie, this is where I get to use my darning needle. So I'm gonna grab the end of that super long tail and thread it through my needle. And in order to close up the top of my beanie, I'm gonna thread my needle back and forth through each of these little gaps here all along this top edge. 
So since my yarn is already attached, I'm gonna come in through my first gap here. And here at my next gap, I'll weave it back through the back side. Here's my next gap. I'm gonna come through the front edge. And here for the next gap, I'm gonna come through and poke out the back side. And now I'm just gonna to continue to weave that yarn back and forth all along the top edge. And now that I've made it all the way back to the beginning of our yarn, I'm gonna tug on the yarn and tighten up this top edge. And I'm gonna tug as tight as I can to close up that center. And after I've got my center as tight as I can get it, I'm gonna tie a few knots here at the center to secure it and weave in my ends. And you're done.